let's do the opposite. Let's take the limit of that as d goes to 0. And let's prove that that gives us the same answer as 2k lambda over r. OK? If they give us the same answer, it proves that not, uh, this is right, and it proves Gauss's law is right. They give you the same answer when, uh, as we get close to the rod, right? So if we find the limit as uh, d goes to 0 of this, then this becomes insignificant compared to this, right? So ignore this and keep that. And wonder of wonders, this is going to work. KQ over D, L squared over 4 to the 1 half. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, take the square root of that. You get L over two. The two goes up to the top. And you're left with uh, DL. And Q over L is how much charge per unit length, lambda. And at that point, you just bow down to physics and just. <laughs> OK. Isn't that wonderful? So 2k lambda over d. And uh, they give you the same answer as d goes to 0. OK. Good. So now.